Oh, well, I'm, I don't feel so proud, but I'm happy. Okay. So happiness comes to me when I can see one people change. To make sure Mrs. Mal Sapani, you are the executive director of Spoon Cambodia, an NGO promoting a skill for underprivileged youth in Cambodia. And the NTO started work in 2009, but uh, the original name was not Spoons, it was Eggbox. So would you mind telling us a little bit about the history of this organization, like how um, the name was changed from Eggbox to Spoon? Good morning. Um, regarding to our organization, so Eggbox Mission, so which is named uh, fully is uh, everything gonna be okay. Yeah, and we was founded uh, in 2009. Yeah, we, uh, we have one founder called Ben Chester. He was in Cambodia in 2008. He was volunteer as an English teacher in Phnom Penh. And then he traveling to Siem Reap and then he can see about potential of tourism in, camp, in Siem Reap. Million people coming to visit on that time and then but when he traveling around the remote area in Simbria, we can see that young people lack of skill, don't have goal in life. So that's why he decided to match between young people to uh, uh, disadvantage young people to uh, how we call hospitality. Mm. So he combined. So that's why we uh, created our organization in 2009 and call ourselves is Eggbox Mission Organization. Yeah, everything is going to be okay. Yes. That's the full name of Eggbox. And because uh, he saw that many uh, underprivileged youth doesn't have skills, so he aimed to provide education and skill for them. And then what skills did the organization provide for um, those people? Yeah, our mission, we want to see uh, young people have equal opportunity yeah. and have uh, independent lives. So our mission, we provide this one take young people with uh, skill, with food and beverage service, mm. housekeeping, uh, cook, and currently, currently we have bakery, pastry, and barista trainings. Yeah. Yeah, and not just only this skill, but because our youth they are coming with, from very uh, poor background of knowledge, so we also include them with English program, computer skill. And also, it's the most important thing is uh, a life skill program is to grooming them become more confident, yeah. attitude plus. So it also become uh, also employees in hospitality industry. Yeah. So hos hospitality skills and English skill uh, for would, them. Would say that because uh, not just only English, but we include also computer, computer skill. skills. Yeah, yeah, and life skill program, job placement training which is a part that can grooming them in the end of the year, they can graduate with job. Yep. And there is a spoon cafe and, uh, and restaurant opened in 2016. And why was the restaurant open? As you know, that we provide vocational training. Yeah. So that's why we need play to for practicing mm. because our program is 12 months from uh, January to December. So our practicing at our learning center from January to July or September. So this is almost eight months with us. So that's why we need the space for practicing. So here is Spoon Cafe Restaurant. Uh, our developing is there to create space for our student uh, training. Uh, it's the most important thing. And second thing, align our student to meet with the real client, the real mm. guest. Because our restaurant is 95% is foreigner and tourists coming yeah. to dining with us. So that's why it's allow them to practice more. And our kitchens also, yes, allow our students to practice on their cooking skills and food and beverage service student and also bakery, pastry and dessert. Uh, 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 the training is a part of our uh, food as well. Yeah, so it's like they can practice their skill and also it's speaking true. the language with foreigners. It's true. And uh, the most important thing is uh, we would like to promote our local Khmer cuisine. So we would like to uh, modernize our food, become everybody can eat. Yes, because if we use very traditional, it's good. 
But sometimes uh, our friend from other country may be difficult to to yeah. get to use with our flavor. So that's why we promote authentic Khmer food, but very modernized, and then everyone can uh, consume it. Yeah. What do you mean by modernizing the Khmer food? Like you cook the Khmer food, but in a Western way. Uh, we we call Khmer cuisine. Khmer, yeah. Yeah, Khmer cuisine. So we use our local ingredients, but uh, would be very uh, modernized. So yeah. the decor and everything is bit very special and unique for spoons. Okay. Yeah. So you also use the Khmer ingredient. Also use a uh, fish paste in um, your food also, right? Um, rarely. So uh, rarely yeah. we don't really use uh, fish paste because not every everybody will gonna like it. Yeah. For another <laughs> yeah but uh, we use like uh, our farmer. They have their vegetable. They have meat. So. It, I mean that the local uh, ingredients. So our people can bring and sell to our restaurant. So it's just a part to help to our farmer and community. Yeah. And so far, how many students have uh, received the education or the training from school? Um, since we opened 2019 now, we graduate over 500 students. 500 students. Uh, 60% are women. Um, so they are working at hospitality industry. Uh, it's currently around 85 percent. They still remain in hospitality. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, most of them are from Siem province or from the other provinces also. Yeah, they are coming from different provinces. And currently, so we have 75 students this year. 75. Yeah. students. Um, they come from like 16 provinces. And we also uh, bring from uh, Rotanakiri mm -hmm. and they are from indigenous group. Ethnic group. And they come from very different uh, indigenous group names. They're like Kui, Kuwait, Phnong, Tempun. Yeah. They are coming too. Yeah. And another thing is from Batambong, from Preven. And this year we expand into uh, uh, Swairing. So it's a place where the students difficult to access education. So yeah. we would like to approach them. And how do they know spoons? And like, how do you assess and like give spot to those students who are in need in the various provinces? Like, how do you get them to this organization? We do a lot of methods uh, because spoon we have our own social media page. So what yeah. we do, we spread the word to social media page. And uh, yeah, the the the, the first one, and then second one, we are working and uh, uh, communicate to uh, local NGOs, local authorities. So we approach them and then promote about our uh, education and vocational training program to high school uh, 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 principal. Also, we promote to them as well. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, what criteria do they have to have in order to get a chance to get a spoon and study? Um, we don't need uh, any criteria much, so they just uh, uh, male or female, 18 mm. to 24 years old. And they're coming from a difficult background and not about they coming to tell us. So we conduct home visit and then oh. we evaluate all information from their family, we access their income, we access their expenses how life family they look like and we gathering all information and then do evaluation and yeah. then at least they understand what hospitality mean so we conduct three hour or four hour session to getting to know about how, what hospitality mean to uh, the real yeah the real country and how many students do you accept each year so when t5 so um, each year yeah uh, it's that it's a little bit long story because uh, during Xbox mission uh, they start they start with 50 students 50. yeah but during COVID-19 because of uh, something happened yeah. you, you know we don't know what exactly happened so we uh, minimize our student uh, during COVID-19 to only 10 uh, students only instead of 50. And then not just only uh, minimize students, but also we need to change the name of the organization because 
uh, our board decided to uh, uh, hand our organization to our Cambodian people. Yeah. So that's why uh, the name of Xbox Mission is cannot remain because it's uh, was registered at USA. So that's why when I am a Cambodian, register is need to be uh, put under Ministry of the Interiors. Yeah. And then we need to change them to spoon Cambodia organization in 2021 and start very small amount of students because of financial situation. Yeah. And we increased to then to 20 in 2022, 2023. And then this year is very lucky. We have uh, 75 students. It's the biggest number in this year. Yeah. And why spoons? Because uh, you face financial difficulty during COVID-19 and, you know, um, the board director decided to stop and then, but you decided to continue this mission. But why the name spoon was chosen? Is there any meanings behind it? Yeah, spoon is feeding, eh? yeah. yeah. So you need spoon for feeding people, feeding you. Um, so and also it aligned to our spoon cafe restaurant because our spoon cafe restaurant was named since two thousand sixteen. It remains already. So that's why we just uh, align with our spoon cafe restaurant with spoon Cambodia organization is the thing that we think okay it's a very fit that the organization and our restaurant go together. Yep. So it's like the word spoon is like the thing, the tool that we use to fit ourselves, is that right? Yeah, so we fit ourselves, we fit to people, yeah. we fit, I mean that you rest people up. Talking about the tourism sector, because you know, after COVID-19, uh, Simbit Province is trying to restore its tourism sector very hard. So, uh, to what extent do you think your mission, your while your value and what you are doing right now have contributed to the tourism sector in this province? I believe that because uh, not many people believe that uh, during COVID-19 is uh, uh, in tourism industry it was almost died. Yeah. So not many people coming to visit and then why I need to train students in hospitality? Um, because I believe that so everything is going to be okay and better in the future. So I made many, many employees in hospitality and hotel, they are away from this uh, industry. So what we going to do if tourism coming back again? Yeah. And then employee in a hotel and a restaurant, they are moved out from this career. So I believe that is uh, training will help to improve more and to support in hospitality industry. And I believe in when hospitality grow up, we need more manpower to support this. And hospitality is very unique and special. You know, you need people very smiling, friendly, keep friendly and keep talk, keep spread the word where, the, where we should be sit, where we should go mm -hmm. in Cambodia because it's promote Cambodia to the world. Yeah. Yeah. For example, like receptionist at hotel, they, they know better how to keep attachment with uh, guests. So, okay, Cambodia, you can visit there, we can visit that, and it's beautiful and meaningful and tell the story about it. So people re remember us. So it's, it's very unique for us to do it. And especially for food. So I love that one, our food culture maybe uh, spread the word. Yeah. yeah. So you might think that there's so many people they know different uh, food from different country, but maybe they not really know about our food in Cambodia. So this is the thing that we should help them to know about our Cambodia culture, especially rich of food culture. Yeah, and you know, talking about the tourism sector and, and the COVID-19, like I'm curious, I, I really want to know uh, the journey that, like in 2021, right, that um, the organization changed the name to Spoon. Mm -hmm. So were there a lot of hardship for you, like as a Cambodian and decided to continue this journey again? Was this hard for you? And how did you deal with that? 
It's so hard yeah. to be honest. So the one thing I don't have experience is to lead a whole organization. I'm just a part organization yeah. on that time. And second thing, I am a background from sociologist. I work a lot with support people, but I never run business. Yeah, yeah. And it's I has no idea when we started to open the restaurant during 2021, and I don't know how to develop business plan. I don't know how to raising fund to to support the organization, and then I have team. They believe me, but I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, it it very hard, and sometimes our restaurant, you know, earn like five dollar only per day during that time, and we are in the red zone, yellow zone, yeah. and sometimes because of thirty eight year old construction, sometimes they have to block the road so people cannot access our restaurant. So. It's everything coming up every day with saying that it's it's a hard sickness. Um, so it 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 really called back to our those uh, situation. It my it's so afraid. It's to be honest, it's so scared and very rich for me and to lead the organization that is not unsure situation. Yeah. But how did you overcome that? Because of the uh, the, the support and the belief of your team that you. Yeah, it's uh, for me. I believe on team spirits. So when during that time we try our best to minimize our expenses, uh, renting our, we don't use aircon. We try to turn mm. off everything as much, sell as much as much we can. Um, second thing is about collaboration and networking, and I have to grow up with the business. Uh, no choice. I have to jump to the pool and then try to swim, even yeah. though I don't know how to swim. <laughs> and I try to connect to network. I try to go to uh, develop on business term and join a lot of uh, networking with another association regarding to business uh, uh, sector. So this is the part that I'm working together, and I try to looking for key person who can. Help me to spread about spoons. Mm -hmm. For example, I engage on myself to travel agency. I engage myself to another hotel and company who can bring more client to spoon. And also learn a lot regarding to know how to do fundraising, make people trust us, yeah. and prepare internal organization more structure, people more enjoyable to work. Together. Yeah, there were a lot of hard work that you put into this. Have you ever thought of giving up because of the hardship that you faced during that time? Um, so. No, I don't feel that because uh, egg box mission and spoon was support a lot to disadvantaged young people. Yeah, because everything is start up for foreigners. And if uh, they gone and then we we finish our program, it means that we not really love our countries. Yeah. So that's, that's why correct. for me, I would like to learn from them. And then they are role model. And then we keep continue because they do it. So why we don't? So they support Cambodia without any need something return. So we are in Cambodia. We are citizen in Cambodia, so we should do something. Yeah. And then I can see about potential of Spoon and Egg Box Mission is we are, we are able to train our students from zero skill to become a skill, mm -hmm. a specific skill. And I love a lot that no dropouts. No dropout. Yes, no dropout during one year program. And 100% student graduate with job. Yeah. So uh, we are uh, get very supportive from our partner, especially from hotel, from restaurant, not just only in Simri, but also in Phnom Penh, also Sehnuwil, some islands. Yeah. They are uh, recognize our education. So why we stop it? Because our young people still need it, yeah. still want to continue their uh, journey. And for example, like every year that we can accept only 75, like this year we accept 75, but over 300 students apply. Yeah, and right now we are now on recruitment because our current student will graduate very soon in December. 
and a new batch of students will come in January. Yeah. So almost 300 again that apply to us. Mm -hmm. And you see that they are around, they come to apply yeah. with our program. So those are the impacts that we can see uh, from the work of your yeah. of organization. Yeah. So oh. are you proud of the work that you have been doing like since you know after the COVID-19 and the thing that you have done and you brought up yourself? Oh, well, I'm, I don't feel so proud, but I'm happy. Okay. So happiness comes to me when I can see one people change. So when they come, I give you an example, like one uh, guy, he come from Ratanakiri. He cannot even speak Khmer so well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then it's difficult for us to, to learn him, not just only English program and also the skill, but we have to groom him them with Khmer language as well. Yeah. And, but you know, after this year, so he had two internship program with us. He completely okay, he happy, and he completely changed his life. From zero skill, from zero English, so he become understand English. He also improved Khmer language as well. Yeah, and he ready for have one job. Yeah. That's really the yeah. impact that you make on yeah. one person, yeah. change his, his life for the better. Yeah. yeah. So then that's the impact that you have made. So how do you envision scaling up your impact? Like, do you want to expand your impact more than that? Sure, I'll, because I, I mentioned earlier that over 300 every yeah. year would like to apply and then we can accept like only 75. It should be not enough. Yeah. and. I can see about hospitality now starting to grow and there are many uh, uh, companies coming to spawn and want to have more employees. Mm -hmm. So I can see more demanded. Yeah, and especially for fine dining restaurant, uh, uh, coffee shop, this also needs many uh, specialist person who can work with them. And not about only skill, but also attitude. Yeah, because uh, owner, they might want the skillful staff, but attitude it should be coming together. What they are required. Yeah. So we are. I expect to have. Is this just my dream? Like last in 2021, I dreamed to have 50 students mm -hmm. in 2026 uh, because our original Xbox mission we have 50 students. But right now, just in 2024, I can manage not just only 50, but 75. 75. Yeah, but I would like to dream again that maybe yeah. in three years, I can manage with 150. Dream bigger, and then you dream can achieve bigger. your dream. Yeah, it's not <laughs> about me, it's about want to have more people can have specific skill, a quality education, or real education. Mm -hmm. Because you train, you learn and then you do it. Yeah. It's the most important. So what we do now? So students coming zero skill after they left, they have skill. And then for me, I believe on impact of result of our education is they can stand in the restaurant, talk to foreigners and get who they are coming and speak English. Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's it. And they can sell, they understand about the service segment and then in the kitchen student, they know how to read recipe, they know better how to pressure on their food, yeah. decor, and then more creativity. So that is an impact of result that I, I love it so much. <laughs> and it makes you happy. Yeah. 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 And as, as we all know that the future is unpredictable, we never know what would happen, just like COVID-19, mm. it hit Cambodia and then all most of the, the, the sector almost died. Mm. So do you have any plan for such an unforeseen future for your organization? Because we, we never know what would happen. So for us, we, I believe on community uh, support. It's in countries because we, are, we rely on a foreigner or tourism yeah. from internationally coming to visit us. But we should think about in local community and Cambodian people support us. Yeah, instead that you 
coming to spoon and donate ten dollar in the in the donation box, but you can use your ten dollar consuming our food here. So it means that you support, and then you get happy. You get food, you get drink, you get a good atmosphere. Our place don't use plastic, eco friendly, and also bamboo structure is a part. Is you can feel. So like that, so you can support like we use our service. Yeah. So something like Cambodian people can do and support be more, yeah. And also for me now, I'm also target for Cambodian customer mm -hmm. who can come to support. Yeah. yeah, and also can do local fundraising. We learned during COVID-19, we are rely on international funding when collapse and close, we are almost die. Yeah, yeah. So right now, what I'm doing, I'm looking for a funding, local fundraising. Maybe you guys, you guys, young a young generation, you want to see the young generation like you, who like opportunity and then get better and equal like you. So you need support them. So like this, so we do local fundraising. We do our uh, survey at Spoon, and then so you can use it. Yeah. It's a one thing. Yeah, yeah. So. As long as there is a community, you believe that your organization is standing strong, right? Despite any circumstances. Yeah, yep. exactly. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Because I cannot do it alone. I cannot do it alone. So because this existing and more expansion because of local people support me. Uh, under the association, under the NGO, and when we gathering, I support them with some way, and then they support me with some Supporting way. Supporting each other. Yeah, and we do like complete uh, complementation to each yeah. other. All right, Mr. Supani. So lastly, do you have any messages that you want to spread out? Maybe about spoons or um, to uh, young people who are disadvantaged? Any messages that you want to say? Um, uh, for me, just never give up. Yeah. So if you dream, uh, want to do something, you just do. And you do it in a better way. And then don't disturb anybody's life. So just continue your journey. And especially, we also would like to promote social enterprise. So we should use service or product that made by social enterprise, which is it's a good cause and good impact to community. Mm -hmm. So every like spoon, every single dollar that we are generate income, so it go to support our program. So even though I'm a manager, I am an owner of the restaurants. So it not for me. It's everything we go to support our program. It go to support our student life because we provide them everything. We provide them accommodation, living expense, uniform, insurance, transportation, meals, and everything, also everything. everything. Yeah, so cost a like around <laughs> a lot of money. This is the way that we can support to each other. Yeah. So that's it. Thank you very much, Mrs. Soprani, for telling us the vision, the mission of your organization. Thank you so much. I'm happy. Thank you so much.